have to start somewhere when talking about the life cycle of a parasite, and it's convenient to start with the egg. This is usually laid in the host's gut and passed out into the world in the faeces. However, the dog lungworm is different. The eggs are laid in the heart, because that is where the adult worms live. And it is here where they breed and produce eggs, which travel along the arterial network and into the lungs. Here they hatch, releasing tiny larvae, which grow and form cysts inside the lung tissue. They then cause irritation, so the dog coughs. <coughs> the larvae are projected into the throat, swallowed, and passed out into the world in the faeces. Nobody knows for sure what happens to the larva next, whether they get eaten by an intermediate host, or whether they eat their way into the intermediate host is not really clear. But whatever happens, they are next to be found inside a mollusk, either a slug or a snail. Up until now, the larvae are harmless to dogs. But once they have fed, grown, and matured inside a mollusk, they become exceedingly infectious. There are two ways by which the larva can now enter the dog. Make that three. The first way involves the dog eating the intermediate host containing the infectious larva, that is the slug or the snail. It happens, some dogs like snails, few consider slugs a delicacy. Then there is the possibility of the dog eating the frog that ate the slug. In the wild, no doubt, frogs make up a significant part of the dog's diet, but rarely in domestication. So that leaves us with a stroke of evolutionary genius. Slugs and snails make slimy trails. And if you look at those slimy trails under a microscope, guess what you'll see? Larvae, hundreds of larvae. And mollusks at night leave slime trails everywhere. They cover the grass, garden items, water bowls left out at night, dog toys, and all of these contain larvae. And so the cycle nears completion as the larva pass along the esophagus into the stomach intestines through the wall into the lymphatic system Then the main vein to the heart. And the heart itself, where it will grow to full adulthood, like many before it. Amazing.